There we go. So there's our way of generating mana. <clears throat> so let's look at the next quest in the quest stage here. And what that's going to be is spreading love. Sunshine and lollipops was completed. We just did that one. And making the wand. So the wand is actually not that bad. It's not that hard to make. Um, let's see here. So to make the wand, you need these twigs. Then you need two additional flowers of any color in order to make it. So let's just grab, I don't know, the cyan petals. We seem to have a ton of those. And we do need our crafting bench. So you take three twigs, just like so. And then you put two petals on either side. That makes the wand of the forest. And this is a very useful tool. It's sort of like a magical wand. So let's check our quest book. And we've now completed this, which also rewards us with more floral fertilizer. Imagine that. So there we go. Let's go take our floral fertilizer and file that away. We've got more fertile, fertile fertilizer than we ever know what to do with. <clears throat> so now we go back into the quest book. And the next one is, you need some way to be able to collect the mana from these flowers. Because even though they're generating, you see the little sparklies, even though they're generating mana, you can't actually do anything with it until you're able to, um, you know, find a way to do something with it. So let's make a diluted mana pool and a mana spreader. So let's take a look at any eye. And the first things first, in order to make a mana pool which we'll look at here. A diluted mana pool is composed of living rock and it's basically that shape right there. So let's do that. That's the very first thing we could do. We do have some living rock. So let's go over here and make ourselves a mana pool. Now I know at some point I'm going to need to make a second one. So let's just make two and uh, we'll figure out why we need two later on but for now let's just make that and also we need to make a mana spreader in this case it's just living wood with one uh, petal and I don't think we have enough wood to do this so we're going to need to convert some of this over so let's go and plant some down and these pure daisies will convert this oak wood into the uh, Let's see, into this guy, the living wood. So we're going to need to probably go collect some more wood while we're at it in order to complete this quest. So let's just real quick, we'll grab this tree here. And this should give us enough. Let me double check my quantities. So we have four back there. And how many do we need to complete the quest? I think we just need seven. And we have five already. So between what's already been being used, we should have enough to do this. Um, can we look at any other quest here? If we do this quest, it does unlock one quest elsewhere. Now, I did notice uh, we able we were able to unlock another quest over here by finding the uh, essence bushes, and it says Spelunking Fanatic. Let's take a look at that while we're waiting for the um, for this stuff to grow. And uh, kind of a cool quest. If you see here, they want us to just collect 16 concentrated essence berry bushes. The reward, which is ridiculously crazy, is six more essence berry bushes, an iron helmet, iron chest plate, iron leggings, and iron boots. And uh, yeah, so little lies under the ground for you, except for scary monsters and death. Why would you ever go down that far? A task for the player needs specific items. So I'll be more than happy to to to, uh, to get those. And I, well, yeah, okay. So we already completed the first half of the of the uh, project, which was finding the essence berries. The second half is getting the reward after we've earned enough to you know do it. Fortunately, we actually found six bushes. So let's let's go check on that real quick. So you see in here, we actually have six bushes, and I've got a storage barrel, so we're almost there. We're literally almost to the point where we're able to get armor through the questing book. 
crazy. Yeah, it's it's kind of a weird quest, I guess. It seems a little bit too simple, but you know, I guess that's the way it is, right? So now we don't have any flowers on me. Let's go grab at least one, which we use this light blue flower. Go over to the crafting bin and make the mana spreader. So we're going to make it just like that and put one flower inside. We now have a mana spreader. So this is how this works. I want to make sure we put this in a place that's not going to be... Um, uh, this is our mine. Well, actually, I'm going to leave the mine there. I'm not going to get. I'm not going to get rid of that. But I want to find a place to put this there. So we'll put the mana pool here, and we'll put this guy up on top here. So you'll see how this works in just one second. All right. So to make the collected energy here. These guys need to have a clear view of the sky, but in order to get this locked on, you can see right now, if I'm holding the wand, you can see that shoots a laser beam all the way across the, uh, like an infinite laser beam, right? This here, just so you can note what this does, this is the ultimate point. This is before it loses power. This is as far as it can spread the beam before it loses something. So let's go and grab this. Uh, the, the way to do it is you can actually if you right if you hold shift and you right click with the wand you can change its function so we want this to say binding mode and if you're in binding mode you hold shift you click on that and then you look down at the diluted mana pool and now you can see that it shoots it directly into there all right so let's get that off of the uh, the binding mode and now you can see we're collecting mana from these day blooms it happens to be nighttime but uh, during the day, you'll see that this thing starts to build up with a small amount of, uh, of mana. So let's go into our book, and we should be able to go and collect this reward. And this is saying it wants us to pick... I, I mean, I'm going to say we're going to pick more day blooms. I mean, we already did that. Okay, the next task here. You need to have a mana pool. Well, didn't I just have one? I mean, a regular mana pool. Okay, okay, okay. So, it needs to have a regular mana pool. So, in order to make a regular mana pool, we're going to need to uh, be able to collect some mana. And the only way to do that is if it's daytime. So, while we're waiting for that to happen, let's go back and check on the progress of being able to make a bed. So, during our last episode, we talked about something called a cotton seed. And in order to make a bed, in order to make a cotton seed, we needed to come up with a barley seed and a dandelion seed. The barley seed, we needed to make it from wheat and sugar cane, and that's going to create barley. So let's go check and see if that has happened. And as you can see right here, here is the sugar cane, there is the wheat, and now we've grown barley. So we basically mutated the seed and have successfully perform the operation. So let's grab that. And also on this side, we had taken a, um, let's look at that other, other part of the recipe, which is the dandelion seed, which we went from sugar cane to melon. And uh, the melon seed is gone. I don't know what happened there, but we did create this guy, which is the dandelion seed successfully. And we now have that. So we have both the dandelion seed and it looks like a banana but we also have this barley seed and in our recipe guide here we see that we can make the cotton seed so let's take these over to the analyzer because that is what we're told to do and we can analyze these puppies so that dandelion seed is a two what does it say two one one and the barley seed is probably going to be around the same thing a two 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 and it, that doesn't mean too much other than the fact that uh, as you get stronger more powerful seeds, you're going to be able to do, you know, faster crops with more uh, output. So now let's take and over here, let's fill in the rest of this crop here. We're going to then take some of our sticks. Let's grab those and um, let's grab the agricultural stuff. Get this going and plant this in order to make cotton seed. 
So put the dandelion on one side, put the barley seed on the other, and this should result in one cotton seed. So that what that means is we don't have to wait for the night time. We can actually have a bed, and uh, that's going to be a good thing. So the other thing we want to do is we want to go around and we want to make sure we're collecting all of these guys and storing them and continuously letting this grow. So the only way to let this grow is to actually fill in the entire inside with these crop sticks. So let's do that. Let's let's make some more crop sticks. And we can do that right inside of our inventory. But if we want this to grow to its full potential, we need to make this so it works like so. And let's fill in. I think we do have... Let's go over here. Alright, so that all eventually will fill in with those particular items. Let's go and throw the wheat in the barley and all that dandelion yellow and throw that all inside of here. And let's take a look at our quest book. What else do we have here? So we do have some new quests that uh, we have unlocked as well. Uh, it's not daytime yet, so we can't do anything there. Um, let's see, what other quests do we unlock? What the World Teaches. Let's open that up. This is a bound in print. So this wants us, you remember the various tomes of knowledge, but you remember there being a great number of them. It may be wise to prepare a place to store them before beginning your hunt for knowledge. So this wants us to make a bookcase. And let's see. So in order to make an oak bookcase, we'll go into there. And let's look at this oak bookcase. So this should be very straightforward. So in this case, it's just some uh, regular planks and some half slabs. So we happen to have some wood on us already. So this should be a very straightforward task. So let's look at that, and boom, 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 and I don't have the half slabs. Let's do that first. We're getting ahead of ourselves here. There we go. Boom. Do 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 do. There we go. And we now have our oak bookcase. Let's look at that. Turn that in. We can re reward it with 16 books or 16 experience drops. I'm not sure what the heck is an experience drop. That sounds like an essence berry, and if that's the case, we already got one. Um experience experience drop what could that be used for experience drop in a crucible furnace a runic altar to make a cow hmm all right well how do we make experience drops that's the question they come from the magical crop but we do have the uh, essence so we probably can make an essence seed let's look at that um, essence seed experience seed. Let's look at the seeds down here. We've got this uh, da, 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 emerald seed, earth seed, essence seed. Is there an experience seed? I think there should be. What's the name of that? Mm. Let's go back here. Let's start back over and we can make the experience drop. So let's take a look at that. And how do you get those? You get those from magical crops, and you get these from, I guess that's from what? What is the name of that? What is the name? Creeper, skeleton, slime, spider, gas, wither. I would think it was a green one, you know, because that makes sense. Diamonds, essence, essence of experience. It's probably sitting up here somewhere. Overgrowth seed, sugar cane, carrots. <coughs> Oh my god, it's killing me here. Experience seed. There it is there. Experience seed! Oh my god, there it is. Okay, so in order to make the experience seeds, which we can do at a much later time, it says it needs regular essence. It needs a bottle of enchanting, which we can create with 
What? <laughs> a bottle of enchanting is essence of magma. That's interesting. And a rune of mana. A rune of mana is pretty straightforward. That's iron. And uh, in order to get that, we need iron seeds. So the question is, do we want books? Books we can actually create. Experience drops may be a little bit tougher. So I'm thinking the actual we might want the experience drops. Let's take that. Let's take that chance. But before we can grab it, we need the book binder. So let's take a look at the book binder and see what this is going to require for us to make. Book binder. This is going to require us to use some string and some paper. So paper should be pretty straightforward. We just use these guys. Um, let's grab our crops off of that and we can start making some paper. And I don't know how much more we have. I think we have two pieces of paper from earlier. Let's go check inside of our station in here. Don't think I put them in there. Where did I put those pieces of paper? And while we're in here, we might as well look for some string. Otherwise, we're going to have to go and uh, try to find some spiders. Spiders are easy enough to find. There's our two pieces of paper. Okay, so we got two pieces of paper. What we don't have is string. So if we can't find a spider, is there another way to make like a spider seed or something like that? There probably is. Is there a spider seed? Spider soul seeds. And yeah, that's not going to happen anytime soon. <laughs> well, only thing to do for that is we can look for a spider at nighttime. Or we can just kind of go and peruse the landscape over in the distance where we seem to find a ton of mobs. See if we see one of the spiders. I see at least one, I see two spiders, and I see a whole bunch of other mobs. Why are they all over there? And Why, why do they not want to come this way? I am afraid to go over in that direction. There is a whole lot of nope going on over there, and I have no clue <laughs> why it is that you know all these guys have don't want to come our direction here. So let's see. Oh, here comes a skelly. All right, we're out of here, bro. Oh yeah, he's running. <laughs> So we might need to make ourselves some some weapons. This is gonna be this is gonna be interesting, part of a part of our little fight here. Oh yeah. Let's grab some food. Looks like we woke it up to neighbors. <laughs> Let's go see. Maybe these guys will be willing to drop something. What do you got out here, buddy? What you got, dude? Besides a bow. Oh, you hurt. You hurt just a little bit. Ow. All right. Well. Ow. Okay, we're going to teach you a lesson. Let's see. Let's make a little stair thing right here. I'm going to teach this guy a lesson. Right. How about that? Oh, you dropped your you dropped your uh, bow. Ooh. You dropped some things. Nice. All right, so we're going to have to do some some experimentation with our friends and it looked like a human pincushion, but we do need two spiders, two strings with spiders, so we risk it for a biscuit. Let's go out and uh, let's go see if we can draw in some spiders. I think the easiest thing for us to do is, well, they're not going to be attracted to us because, uh, this guy, this guy. I want, I want you right there. I don't want Mr. Creeper. That's all right. Get away, Mr. Creeper. I want this guy. Hey, blow up, blow up the spider while you're at it. Blow up the spider. Yay! All right, did blow the spider up. <laughs> Come here, Mr. Spider. There we go. There's a string. We got two strings. Woohoo! We're done. Let's get out of here. <laughs> do to do. We're, we're out of here. See you later. All right. So there we go. We've got our two strings. And uh, let's go and uh, go build this book binder. All right. Do do do. There we go. Two strings, two pieces of paper, 
bookbinder got. There we go. So, let's claim that reward. And, oh, it gave us both. Well, hey now, that's what I'm talking about. Beautiful. All right, so let's take a look and see if our mana pool here, it looks like it's gathering up some mana. So let's go back and do two things here. Let's take a look. We did open up some more stuff in this quest, but before we go into that, let's take a step back into the other quest, which requires us to build a mana pool. So, if you're unfamiliar with Batania, how do you do that is you throw a second mana pool, a diluted mana pool, into the first one, and you get the next one. So you see how it has a little checkbox with a positive check mark? That means when I throw this in here, there you go, and now you get a full-sized mana pool, and we get a whole bunch of fireworks. Awesome. Alright, so let's claim a reward. I think we're going to go with more day blooms because, you know... That's the way to do it. And get rid of this and put in our full mana pool. So there we go. That's going to do that. And you can see if we look at our wand of the forest, you can see that's pointing into a mana pool. And this puppy is going to be generating some serious mana because we're going to add... Let's get rid of that. Let's put this here. Let's grab some more day blooms. One there. And this will grab from up to five away, so we can actually put some back here in the corner. So let's put one here. I don't want to put one underneath of there, but we can put one over here. There we go. And let's put it one. I guess we can go all the way out to here. One, two. I'm not sure if it's going to gather from here or not, but let's put that there. That it's beautiful, and we can actually we can move this. We'll move the uh, we'll move the mana uh, tank. And we'll put it in a better spot here. So let's put another flower underneath it here, and we'll go down and make two more spots. One, two. Now we should be making plenty of mana, and there is some other flowers that we can use, and we'll explore that in future episodes. So let's take this guy. Let's move him out of the way. Let's put him. I don't know, right here, it really is kind of close. Let's put him Let's put him right here. I believe this is going to let me do this. There we go. Good. All right, so let's put that guy right there. And it is relatively close, but let's put it back in binding mode. You can see it's shooting off in the distance again. Grab that. Point that right there. Get this out of binding mode. And now that should be generating uh, mana from all over there. So as long as it's within five blocks, one, two, three, four, it's easily within the five block radius that it needs to be in. And it is, well, it's covering up that plant. What did you do that for? Let's move it so it's not on top of the plants. Because uh, that wouldn't be good. Let's put it there. Bind mode. Boom. Boom. Okay. Get it out of bind mode, and we're good to go. So let's do that. All right. So let's take a look at this. And go over to here. So what is our plan? Uh, well, guess what? You guys will have to find out in the next episode. So like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. And you can also watch these videos being recorded live on twitch.tv forward slash minecraftingdad. It is an awesome experience, and I hope to see you guys either in the next episode or live with me on one of my future upcoming streams. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for the comments you've been giving so far. I appreciate it very much, and I hope you guys are enjoying the series. We plan on doing other series in the future. And like I said, you guys are awesome. And if you just joined us, welcome to the family, and we will see you in the next episode. See you next time.